Hello, Chef here. Ah, yes, today I find myself making some acorn squash. I see people walk by in the grocery stores and they, they just walk right past this beautiful uh, work of nature here. Uh, these little acorn squashes are really good and it's so easy to make them. Oh my god. Here we go. I got just a few ingredients. Acorn squash. Uh, here's some brown sugar. A little bit of butter, salt, and pepper. Last ingredient, chef's secret here, okay? Cinnamon stick on the grater. That's it. You bake them in the oven. So it's so easy, you got to try it. Uh, first thing I like to do with these little squashes is I like to pop off the, uh, the, the stem right there. It gets in the way, and you want to kind of cut these in the middle anyway. Just give it a little smack with your knife or your cleaver comes right off. Okay, I usually do that on both of them or however many I'm cooking. I just don't want these little guys in the way. It's easier uh, to, to cut that way too. So to cut this, be very careful. I suggest starting with a sharp cleaver like this or a big knife straight down. So easy. Remove the seeds. Okay? be back. Okay, here we go. I got the seeds out. I could show you a hundred other things to do with these squash, but for today, we're keeping it simple. Put them in a roasting pan like this. Okay. And we're going to add just a few ingredients uh, like this. Just using a small bit of butter on each one. Okay, right in the middle is fine. A little bit of pepper, fresh ground pepper is the best. Oh yeah. A little bit of sea salt. I like it like that. Okay, a little bit of brown sugar. Not too much. Just like this. Okay, and the last ingredient, some fresh grated cinnamon stick. Uh, if you don't have graters, they got them over there too. But you need to have yourself a good grater. And uh, we're just putting a little bit of cinnamon, just takes a few seconds. That's about it right there. Ah, I got this cool little convection oven. 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Pizza stone. Squash goes in. Well, it takes about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I'll check them when they're done. Ah, the finished baked squash. How does it look? Very, very nice. Smells amazing. Okay, now I'm going to show you a very simple way to plate this up. Uh, something a little different kind of special. You can eat it right like this. You know that it's done just by giving it a little squeeze. Nice and soft and tender. These are beautiful. So I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to uh, serve it with a little bit of a different flair today. And I'm just going to put it on a plate like this. Okay. Remove these other ones out of the way here for a moment. So here's my squash. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, cream fresh. I've got some cream fresh in the bottle here. I'm just going to add a little bit because a little dairy is going to contrast, taste pretty good, and uh, kind of give it a little bit more of an unusual effect. A little bit of cream fresh right like this. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get out of there. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to put on here is just a touch uh, more cinnamon. I kind of like the, uh, the effect of the cinnamon, the smell, the flavor, and just the, the taste. It's so good. So we're going to put a little bit of cinnamon on here as well. And now that I think about it, I'm going to 
switch it up but just a notch here. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of vanilla seed specs. This is pure ground vanilla beans. Uh, these are available on the site as well, but it's good stuff and it goes perfectly with this kind of a dish. Wow, that's it. The finished baked acorn squash. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All of the products used in the videos are available from your sponsor. That sponsor is currently ChefDepot.com.